Today we're going to make a 3D puzzle. Okay, so there's a YouTube channel out there called Woodworking for Mere Mortals. The guy that runs the channel is Steve Ramsey. He's provided a free set of plans available for download on his channel. I'll put a link in the description below. He's very kindly done US and UK measurements, um, whichever you prefer to use. What I'll do is I've downloaded them. I'll show you what we're working with. Okay, so once you download the PDF file, first of all, you get inches as he's an American. Um, and just below it there, you get your metric, which is in millimeters. He also provides kind of an aerial view of, you know, how it should look. And uh, these are, by all accounts, to scale drawings. However, since printing these out, I realized that my uh, printouts are not to scale. So I'm gonna have to go old school, use the tape measure and uh, try and go as best I can from there. Okay, so behind the scenes before I started today, I looked for the scrap spin and you guessed it, I found another piece of oak. This stuff seems to be coming out of my ears. However, it was pretty close to the right size that we needed. It needs to be 40 mil in width, which it already was. And then I've just run it through the thicknesser and uh, it's now the 20 mil required uh, thickness. What I think I'm gonna do is keep it all as one piece of stock, draw out the design on to the, to the oak, uh, and I think that'll make it far easier to cut out with the jigsaw as one big, um, one big bit of stock. And then once all the internal bits are cut out, sanded, I will then try and tackle, you know, cutting all three pieces to the right size. We'll go from there and we'll see how, how well it fits together. Uh, and then I've got a new finish to try today as well, which uh, hopefully will make it look pretty. Okay, so the top and bottom shapes are cut out internally. I'm just left now with this one here, which has a, a middle section to cut out. Um, the way Steve does it in his video is he uses a drill, punches a couple of holes, and then uses that as the entry point for the jigsaw. Uh, it seems to work out okay. I'm gonna give it a go. Does get me to try out my brand new um, combi drill. I bought this uh, yesterday, uh, it came from Amazon. And I tell you what, I don't know whether it's because the 2020 model, but uh, it was only a smidge over 40 quid or so, um, which is a bargain. Obviously a bare unit, but uh, if you've got batteries already, you know, my last drill I think was 2016. Um, so I've definitely got my money's worth. 
and uh, you know having the batteries does give you that freedom to then buy the bare units. So we'll give that a whirl and uh, we'll see how it goes. For some reason, I uh, lost a load of footage from uh, using the jigsaw and also then using the table saw. I've got a new phone and uh, some of the uh, functions, it, it starts recording and then it will stop and then I don't realise until I've made the cut and of course you don't want to cut twice because it makes the uh, thing smaller. So just like in Steve's video, I've noticed that it's going to need some cleanup with a bit of sandpaper. So, I've um, got some two part, you know, five minute epoxy. I've mixed that together. And uh, I've uh, glued some sandpaper to, a, you know, like a painter stick. I've turned the sandpaper off and then hopefully that will let me get in the nice tight corners. Fingers crossed, um, the video doesn't stop recording and uh, showing me sanding but uh, hopefully then it will all go together. done. Um, I very quickly realised that um, when making this you had to be as precise to the measurements that uh, Steve's given you as possible. Um, it was all very well sanding but very quickly reached for the chisels uh, to really fine tune those angles. I've done this about 10 times and yet I still get confused. Now it's, it's called a cog puzzle and uh, apparently you start with the G and the O first, and that slides over. Um, the C, this way. Oh yeah, the C slides over. Like that. No, nope, even I've done it wrong. This way. There you go, and then that slides in. Visually, I think it looks great. It's, uh, it's one of the coolest things I think I've made. Um, there we go. Uh, and it would look great on uh, someone's desk. Um, now, new choice to finish today. Danish Oil. I'd seen um, well-known brands. It was about 20 quid for a tin. I couldn't justify that, that when I didn't know, you know how the finish was gonna come out. That was about six pounds. It was an own brand. And uh, yeah, it dries very, very quickly and uh, it, you know, it's apparently very hard wearing. So I'll be sticking with that for future projects. Um, before I end the video, just want to give a massive shout out to Gary at uh, Project Man. He's taken my channel from 14 subscribers, you know, from my last video to close of play today, I think 63 subscribers um, all through you know, um, his positive comments about my channel and sending the guys over here. Um, so Gary, big thank you, mate. And um, have a good day, guys. Always remember to like and subscribe.